Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Today we've been talking about, uh, you know, uh, getting the debt ceiling up in the United States of America for the country so they can get more money and produce shit uh, for some time already. Um, and they will meet again Biden with McCartney and they will do this McCartney and all that. Okay, well, let me give you a uh, prognosis. What I think, I think they will have an understanding. They will raise the debt ceiling. I guarantee you that 99.9%. .9%. I would be, I, how should I put it? I don't think it's possible not to do it. One way or another, that would be accomplished. With the 14th Amendment or whatever they want to invoke Biden or whatever, they will do it. Why? If you don't think they will do it, you really think the Republicans are in a different team. You really think that the, the Democrats are here and the Republicans are fighting for these guys and the Democrats are fighting for those guys and they really fight. If that's, if that's your understanding of the political system of America, well then they will uh, fight and they will disagree and all that. They will agree to that. That would happen one way or another. Why? Can you imagine what would happen if that would not be achieved? It's like, for instance, you and I, not you and I, your family or my family, okay? We spend more than we produce, than we earn. That's basically what's happening. We spend more, you know, all kinds of things, than we produce and we bring in, in, in the house, in the household. So what do we do? We use our credit cards and then we max our credit cards and everything we got, the uh, credit line and everything else. And then we say, instead of saying, you know what? We're used to drinking like that, we're used to smoke that, go over there, eat this, vacation, all that. Well, we have a lifestyle and we don't want to lower it at all. We're still going to drink uh, this kind of uh, uh, cognac uh, and this amount of cognac. We're still going to go three times on vacations, wherever we feel like. We're still going to uh, spend money as sailor and so on, sailors and so on. We're going to do whatever we want, drink or spend money anyway. And we're not gonna, going to have a, a, you know, we have to spend. If we don't spend, we're dying. That's the, uh, the capitalism. That's why the communists think, well, from the maximum of capitalism, it's going to turn into socialism because it's going to be unsustainable. That's the whole principle of uh, Karl Marx. He said, the capitalism will be unsustainable. And at one point, it's going to break. And it's going to turn into a communist system, basically. So, these guys will not... The family will not say, okay, well, oh, honey, no more three vacations a year. going to be one vacation a year. We're not going to drink every night. We're going to drink once a, a month, or not a month, a week. No, cigarettes, uh, one pack in three days. Uh, no more going to the casino. No more clothes like this. No more this. No more cable. No more. Do you think so? Because we have to cut from the spending in order to stay in how much we earn. We, we can't borrow anymore. That's it. Do you think that's what's going to happen? No. We're gonna, because that's, that's gonna mean that we're gonna get hurt. We're gonna have less. And once you get used to a certain kind of uh, spending spree, it's very hard to come back from that. It's easier not to do it from the start than to do it and then cut back. Always, always. Like, oh, you're allowed to eat a, a candy bar every day. Imagine someone tells you, no, you have to eat it once a week. Oh my God, no. It's hard instead of saying, well, you don't have a candy bar. Like uh, when we were in uh, communist Romania, you didn't have candy bars. Whatever you had, it was like, pfft, like a rock. You can kill someone with a candy bar. One, one kind, okay? You didn't have like two or anything like that. So we didn't have it. Oh, well, we, we watched and we, see, we saw other people coming from the West with a candy bar. It was like gold for us as kids. But hey, we didn't have it. But we knew how to appreciate not having things. Anyway, uh, some of us, some of us, when they got into the West, they start spending and could not stop. And then they got in bankruptcies and so on. So what happened here? The, the, I almost guarantee you these guys will raise the uh, debt ceiling right here. And they say, well, debt ceiling, Biden, McCarthy, to meet Monday as negotiators keep working to resolve standoff. Associated Press. They will do it. They will do it, okay? They just they just play this little game now for us. That's for us. Wow, they're fighting. Wow, they disagree. Yeah, they're negotiating. Yes, they do this. 
yes they negotiate certain things for their perks because uh, here is getting the power and the republicans want more power so they have to paint somehow badly uh, the, the the democrats so how can they do it hurting us we fight for you but on the other hand we fight to destroy these guys so we can get in power and then solve something that we created well, not we created at this point because this thing with adapt was created by people who manage the economy badly and you can go back in time and you can see where where that happened so anyway um this is just a, a game here it's just a uh, uh it's, it's staged i mean they know it it's not like oh i'm gonna do this they know what's gonna happen why do you think this is gonna fall the system will fail do you think this guy's gonna realize wait a second man we're paying too much let's be now uh fiscal uh, fiscally responsible do you think so it's okay well i hope that happens i hope but my hopes are uh you know one percent one percent that's how much i gave them 99 uh i give uh, uh that pfft, they will have an understanding however that would be and they're gonna point finger at one another and they fought for us and the system works and all this bull you know we'll see we'll see so relax don't get uptight don't get stressed about this everything's gonna be just okay but it's gonna be bad in the long run in the long run it's gonna be okay in the sense that they will not create this crisis can you imagine what kind of crisis would would be here in the united states if that would be the case <laughs> bankruptcies you can't pay your bills companies will uh, lay off uh, uh, employees uh, belly up banks are gonna be and so on do you think it's gonna happen here right now maybe if they have a bigger plan that we don't know yet but we kind of know it that's the you own nothing and you're happy plan you remember that one from davos all right remember that's always there they will own we will not okay but we'll be happy like uh, worms on a carcass you know but we're still worms and the carcass is something that is dead all right Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.